Vanuatu is a small island developing state within the Pacific region. Um, we're, we're one of the most vulnerable uh, countries in the world, especially when it comes to climate and disaster risks. Um, we're situated in the Pacific Rim of Fire as well as within the Pacific uh, Cyclonic uh, Belt, which makes us one of the, the most um, disaster prone uh, countries in the world. Uh, in Vanuatu, we can see uh, mostly in terms of um, severity of uh, tropical cyclone events. Uh, we have more and more tropical cyclone events category 5, uh, which is uh, not so regular in the past, but now we can see them more often. People from all islands in Vanuatu still retain very close relationships to the land. First and foremost, because their cultural way of life, the cultural heritage, relies a lot about all the resources that are available, not only on the land, but also on the sea. In most places, it's the only way of income. The country usually experience cyclones and then we have volcanic eruptions. So we have flooding in various low-lying areas, so communities that are based in low-lying areas when there's a heavy rainfall and sometimes these communities have to shift away from where they're living to move into higher ground. You're looking at issues related to food security, water security, even um, cultural um, security uh, which very much uh, impacted by uh, uh, those particular climate uh, impacts. We have to consider uh, the difference in gender and in, in vulnerability of people, people with disability in terms of uh, human mobility. For Vanuatu, human mobility or human displacement is bound to happen yet in the future, considering the magnitude and also very aggressive weather patterns that we have now in, in Vanuatu, uh, in the Pacific. The Iowa mission in Vanuatu supported the Ministry of Climate Change to develop its first ever uh, national displacement policies, then supported the government to realize that displacement is, is an issue. It's, it's very critical for Vanuatu to, to have a, a displacement policy in place. Given the scientific projections, we will have climatic impacts that will, uh, will very much intensify and uh, will, will worsen. You have cyclones every year, so people will have to be displaced. You need proper evacuation centers to be, to be set up. Or if you're looking at uh, you know, more long-term durable solutions, uh, uh, those will, will, will have to, to come to play. But I think in future, now that we have the policy in place, um, the displacement policy, uh, the government would uh, look forward to have support in future in terms of finance to implement that plan better. So I think it's about time that um, the government preps itself um, and looks to its strength in the islands. Uh, people who have been resilient throughout these disasters over generations and, and pick out the useful aspects of traditional knowledge that we can use, utilize during disasters. We preach uh, resilience to our people, but we will need support. Uh, there has to have uh, specific financing for loss and damage uh, to help people from island nations to, to recover. It's important to, to recognize the needs of small island states and particularly for Vanuatu, uh, a chain of a group of little islands.